Yo, what's good? Welcome back to another DIY video. In this one, we're gonna stray away from making pants. We're gonna make something else. In this one, we're gonna make a reworked hoodie. Hopefully I say this correctly, but thank you to Tajman on Instagram. Thank you for your suggestion. Now, while I was doing my research, a lot of people tend to use thrifted sweaters because you know, you're gonna be chopping up the hoodie, making a bunch of holes and everything. With what I have planned for this video, I wanna make sure that the sweater that I use, you know, I actually like it and I like how it fits on me. So I decided to use a sweater straight out of my closet. I got this Champion Reverse Weave Mint Crew hoodie. It's super nice. I really like this one, <laughs> but we're gonna chop it up. A little added pressure, you know, to myself, but you know, it'll help me not rush things. I really like taking my time to make sure that this thing looks good because I want it to look good because I really like this sweater. And if I do end up messing it up, uh, you guys probably won't see this video. But we got a lot of work to do, so let's get it. Here it is, one of my favorite sweaters that I own, laid flat on the operating table, taking in its final moments before its surgery. In the beginning, I planned on using this black hoodie as the fabric for the rework because, I mean, it makes sense, right? Splicing in a hoodie into another hoodie. But it got me thinking. It's kind of boring to just do hoodie on hoodie, and I'd rather work on denim. Digging through my stash of past project scraps, I decided to use fabrics in shades of gray so that the rework itself won't be too loud if it was a bright color, but also not too low key if I were to use something like black. Like I said already a billion times, this is one of my favorite sweaters. So I invested a lot of time into trying to figure out how I wanted the rework to be shaped. I took a picture of the sweater laid flat and then drew in different shapes and designs on it. I wasn't able to finalize the design doing this though, but I did get a general idea of where I wanted the rework to be. The next dilemma was trying to figure out which fabrics to use and which ones go well together that would create some variety in its look and not something too bland. I kept mixing and matching different shades and fabrics together, but then abruptly stopped myself because I realized I'm overthinking all of this. Personally, I'm more of a doer than a thinker uh, obviously i still think before i sew something together but thinking too much is a little detrimental to my workflow in the words of nike just do it Without giving it much thought, I pieced together different scraps of gray denim and sewed them together to create the layer to be added in for the rework. I decided to add in the changes mainly to the right side of the hoodie. I didn't want to change the entire look of it and make it into something completely different. When you look at the hoodie, I still wanted it to be its original self, and then there's the parts of it that's reworked. I partly removed the stitches holding the front pouch down so I could sew onto the layer underneath it. I zigzag stitch the edges down using white thread so that it'll keep the fabric from fraying while at the same time adding in a design to the top side of the fabric. Ah, bruh. <laughs> what did I even hit? I also used darning to solidify the seams and of course to add in another element to the design. With the hoodie turned inside out, I placed the denim layer face down where I wanted it positioned and then pinned it multiple times to the sweater along its perimeter. When you flip the hoodie right side out, you can see that the pins form the shape of the new layer, so you'll be able to stay within bounds when drawing the cutout design on the top layer. After multiple attempts, I chose to make the cutout inspired by the Capital Thunder Shorts DIY I made before. I just wanted to do something that didn't involve slashes or or fire, but when I was happy with the look of the cutout outline, it was time to finalize it by sewing along the lines made. A couple of tips for this part, obviously don't rush, because you might end up accidentally sewing another piece of the hoodie that got caught underneath what you can see, and to also lower the tension of your sewing machine since we're sewing on a much more stretchy and softer fabric compared to just denim. But it was a lot of sewing along a line, leaving the needle down when you get to the end, lifting the presser foot to pivot the hoodie, placing the foot back down, and then sewing in the line again, and then repeat. To expose the layer underneath, I carefully cut out the top layer material following the inside perimeter of the stitches. I took a step back to look at my work and I figured only having a design on the front of the hoodie wasn't really enough so I decided to add in another one but this time on the arm of the same side of the hoodie most of the design is on. Same rules apply for this one, don't think too much, just put something together. 
To sew onto the arm, I removed the seam along the bottom with a seam ripper, starting from the cuff all the way to the armpit. I then placed the denim layer face down where I wanted it to be positioned and pinned it down along the perimeter, prepping it for when I draw the design outline. For this design, I added in a thunderbolt to keep the theme going, but everything else, which wasn't a lot, was just randomly drawn in, again, trying to not overthink things. Scrubbing away the unneeded white chalk remnants of unapproved designs, I drew in a basic outline of the cutout and then sewed it in. Giving myself the green light to move on, it was time to cut it out. At this point, you can say that we're done. We've made a reworked hoodie, but I'm not done yet. There was an urge inside of me that was boiling up, ready to be let loose. Now, what is this urge you may ask? <laughs> it was to hand sew. All that was left was to sew back together the sleeve following its original seam, and then lastly, the front pouch pocket. 